Let's look at final exam question number 34 in Physics Demystified, second edition. Please refer to page 520 if you have the printed book. Suppose that we wind a coil of wire around a solenoidal metal core. Solenoidal meaning rod shaped. That's the blue thing. The coil is the red wire. We find that by connecting a variable direct current source to the coil, like a power supply, one of those adjustable voltage direct current power supplies, we can drive the magnetic flux density in the core up to 3,000 Gauss, but no higher. 3,000 Gauss. That's core saturation because we can't get any more flux density no matter how much greater we make the voltage across that coil of the current through it. Then when we shut down the current source, we shut that thing off so that this current drops to zero, we're left with a little bit of residual magnetism the flux density inside the core doesn't drop all the way down to zero, but instead drops down to 150 Gauss. We're being asked what the retentivity of this core material is. Well, that's pretty simple. We simply divide the residual flux density by the saturation flux density. And when we do that, we get 0 0.0500 to three significant figures, which is 5.00%. And that is choice B.